Hello everybody, it's again me with another video. Today is uh, 9.20 right now, September 13th, 2018. And this is another brief update in regards to Hurricane Florence. As of this morning, Hurricane Florence is actually very close to the North Carolina coast, uh, approaching Wilmington um, and also Jacksonville, North Carolina. Seems like that is definitely gonna be the destination for landfall. Probably, probably a little bit far south, because it looks like the storm, if, it's, if it does stall, how they have been uh, saying, is definitely going to be a little bit further south. But it looks like so far that area is gonna be the landfall spot. Um, fix this camera a little bit, there you go. Um, as of this morning, Florence was moving northwest at 17 miles per hour. Um, I'm sorry, 12 miles per hour. Um, that was last night. That was moving 17 miles per hour. So 12 miles per hour, moving northwest, and the wind speed, uh, 110 miles per hour winds. That's actually good news because it means that it has continuously weakened and is not as strong as once was. And it was expected actually to make landfall as a Category 4. So big change. I mean, from a Category 4 to a Category 2, uh, two that's a big difference. Um, but it, it nevertheless, still got to be prepared. Still got to be ready because it's going to stall and dump a ton of rain. So by dumping a lot of rain, it's just going to cause flooding and it's going to cause issues with uh, uh, you know, uh, flooding and all that stuff. But uh, it's, it's not as strong as, as it was, and, and, and that's a good thing. Um, as of as we speak, I would say probably within the next uh, couple hours, maybe um, you know, two to four hours, I would say, um, it's expected to uh, you know some of the, the, the rain bands. I mean, and I'm telling you, I was looking on the radar, and those those rain ba uh, rain bands look very um, very intense, and those rain bands are going to start touching or, or lashing the coast of North Carolina. Probably within the next, I would say, two to four hours, probably. Um, and um, so it's, it's time to start getting ready because it's fixing to get worse. From from now on, it's just the conditions are just going to deteriorate. Deteriorate. Um, they're going to go downhill. So definitely something to be ready, you know, prepare. And um, that's basically what is going on with uh, Hurricane Florence. With the rest of the Atlantic, not much going on, going on. Tropical Storm Joyce, again, same thing as yesterday, just heading out to see Hurricane uh, Helene. Hurricane Helene is actually same thing, just going out to sea. Isaac moving west still, is expected to keep um, basically keep getting weaker. And then that disturbance that was uh, that is in the Gulf, it looks like conditions are not that favorable in the uh, Gulf right now because it's actually not expected to form. I mean, the, the National Hurricane Center dropped the chances of development from 70%, I believe, to 50% now, meaning, you know, the conditions are not conducive for development and, and it's not expected to, to develop into anything. It's running out of time, so but definitely, you know, by the time it makes it to, to Texas, it's, it's, it doesn't have enough time, so it's not going to develop into anything, seems like it. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's still going to cause some rain, um, you know, uh, bring some rain and stuff like that. But nothing major. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, again, Hurricane Florence, the, the news basically is a, is a top uh, top news right now, all over, the, all over the place, basically. But again... 110 mile per hour winds moving at 12 mile per hour north moving northwest and um, it's approaching the coast very quickly uh, today is definitely expected to make landfall and it has 110 mile, uh, miles per hour wind speed this is everything i have for you now i'll do a video later today with the after the 11 o'clock 11 a.m update so let's talk to you soon